Hi folks, I'm Randy and uh, welcome back to Home Biz ABCs. And tonight we're going to uh, do a little video that is more so for me than it is for you because I constantly forget how to go through and, and do this specific task properly. And that task is how to uh, do circular text in GIMP. If you're going to put um, text on the top and the bottom of the circle or on the sides, it can get a little bit tricky. So let's go through and take a look at this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to uh, create a new file. Click on new. I have mine preset at 1920 and 1080. Um, really doesn't matter. You can do it a lot smaller, a lot larger. Uh, it really depends on how large you want your pixels at the very end of it but uh, you can adjust all this stuff all the way down so here we go so I've got my screen um, I'm going to go into image and down to guides I always like working with guides makes it a lot easier and, and you'll see why shortly so go back up to image and guides again new guide again and this time click on the down arrow and let's get horizontal and there you go now we have guides and that's perfectly centered now I'm going to go up and click on my ellipse tool and I'm going to get it directly in the middle and I'm going to pull it out and it's going to create that circle that I want. Now make sure you have this set on fixed and um, the ratio says current but um, the ratio should be one to one. Okay now you've got your circle now let's go up and hit select and um, let's see let's click on uh, two path at uh, the last selection the one place I don't look and then go back up to select and click on none okay now it disappears on you but um, if you go over to click on your path tool and yours is probably up here mine got reversed somehow and I just haven't fixed it yet but click on your path tool where it says selection selection click where the eyeball should be and there you go now there's your path again and now let's go ahead and put in some text and mine is ring bearer medium which is from the hobbit or lord of the rings and um, i want my text oh man i want my text to be right around uh probably um, i'd say 85 let's say 85 and uh I think that'll do it so now I'm gonna click on the a which I had previously okay and I'm gonna type in my text and this is for a project I'm working on currently so this is for our pipe uh, pipe smoker club that we have here um, <laughs> that I'm kind of part of so um, let's see it's called um, old Toby's Uh, pipe fellowship okay and let's just pull it up just a hair to get away from that circle okay and then let's go back through and make sure that it's bolded and we'll click this back pull this back out so that text will come on so the text will be in one line okay now let's go up and see if it's going to line up the right way sometimes it doesn't so oh you don't have to highlight all that um, just inside your text area right click go down and click text along path now you'll see that it's kind of upside down and when i push it back up to the top side it's not going to it's not going to be in the right uh, right position or right order. So um, let's go back over and hit edit, undo add path. And then let's go up and uh, click on the flip tool. Come down and click on path. Come over and just click on that line just one time. Okay, now let's go back up and hit the A for text. Click in the text area. And now let's right click, go down and hit text along path. And now you'll see that it's on the right side of the path. So now 
let's go ahead and get rid of this old Toby's up here. Go over to your layers and just click on the eye. And now get rid of that. And then let's go over and click on the rotate tool. And then down on the path. And then let's come over and just click in the area and see what it's got. And it's got this in the wrong place. So drag this little wheel thing over to the very middle. Okay. Now just simply come down here and push it around. And that's pretty close to where we want it right there. I don't think it'll be any better than that. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to leave that there. And then click on rotate. Okay. So now it's in the right place. And um, we'd like to fill this in with, um, with a color, right? So let's go down and click on new layer. Okay. And you want a transparency. Click OK. Then let's come over. Click on select. And go down to from path. Okay, and you'll see the ants dancing. Okay, now let's go over and click the color that we want. I'm going to go ahead and stick with red. I like that. And then with the fill tool right there, the bucket fill tool, come over and click within uh, one of these letters. Now, if your print's too small um, and you want to enlarge it so you can get inside it easier, hold down the control and just... Turn your wheel on your mouse a little bit and it'll enlarge it. And click in there. And I'm going to make mine smaller again. There we go. And um, then go ahead and click on select and none. And it'll take care of the ants. And then this light red that you see, let's go over to paths and click on selection of the eye. Okay, no, that's not it. Click on path, the eye. There you go. And that takes care of that. Okay, now we want to do the uh, next one. We're going to put some text down below. And so let me make this smaller, a little bit smaller. There we go. So now let's go ahead and uh, click on the text again. And come down here, do a little text. And I'm just going to put Riverside, California. Okay. And then I'm going to click, right click inside that, the text area. And I'm going to go text the long path. Okay, so now when you see that, that means we left out a key element here so click on edit undo that and then come over to your uh, selection and click your path okay right there you see paths click on selection then come over to your layer and make sure you're on the right layer and here we are Riverside okay now you can either right click inside the, the text area or, or uh, you can right click in this area here and Again, text along path. Oh, guess what? It's uh, not in the right order. We need to reverse that. So let's go up and hit edit, undo. Okay. Then let's hit the flip tool again. Come down, hit path. Click on the line. Okay. And then let's come back over. Right click on Riverside text the long path and there you go now you see we're in the right position now all we have to do is spin it around so let's get rid of this text here for now um, click on path or um, layers and then click on the eye okay and um Let's go back over to the rotate tool. And then let's um, left click once 
and make sure you pull that wheel over to where it's right in the very center okay and then click up here and push and just get it to where you want it i'd say that's probably right about right if you want to pull a guide down to, to double check you can do that looks like i need to come around just a hair more okay and let's just do that that's pretty nice there okay and then hit rotate now we want to fill it in with some color so let's go down and hit add layer transparency okay come back over and hit our uh, bucket fill oh wait a sec we need to go up to select first come down and hit from path there's your dancing ants then hit your bucket fill tool and just go inside one of the letters and right click and something isn't right here okay it looked like i i just didn't have the right path chosen here so let's see select from path okay i've already got that chosen um edit okay so back over to choose the color click on the color the fill bucket and let's go down and see if it'll yeah there we go okay so now let's get rid of the dancing ants click on select and none and let's get rid of the lines and click on path and selection no not selection there you go okay now let's go to layers and pull the other one back up on top nope not that one there we go and you can see you have your circle and so now that you have that um there's a way to add your layer effects and let's see if this will do it. Okay, so that only did your bevel effects on that layer. So what I would have to do is go all the way back. And uh, when I did this layer here, actually, you know, I think we could do that. Let's just go back and see if it'll let you let us do it here Undo path. let's see if it'll let us do it script no nope, it did that text down there but it didn't do up above so we'll undo that let's see if we can go back a little farther and maybe this is where it'll let us do that yeah so there it allowed us to add um, some bevel effect and um, I was looking for some back drop but now so let's go up here and edit and see if it'll uh, not won't let us reduce so from that point, from this point, we're just going to have to go through and, and do like we just did. So that'll just take a second and I'll do it real quick and be right back. Okay, so I've gone back and I've gone up to script two here and um, added the, um, the bevel. Is the bevel layer effects? Yeah, the bevel and the emboss. And uh, so now I've got my circular logo, uh, part of the logo pretty much to where I want it now if I want to pull something else down and put it inside um, I've got a few different things I can do but um, open this layer is probably the easiest thing that you can do and then um, let's see um, do I have the Shire yeah the Shire let's see if the Shire pocket yeah Let's open Shire Pocket. And um, so this is what we're going to put in the middle. And uh, here's 
what we're going to do, we need to get this larger. So scale tool right here. And then just grab a corner of this and bring it out. And then grab another corner and bring it down a little bit. Um, another corner over a little maybe. Maybe to where it's just just um, underneath those the P and the T and then you can grab the middle of it pull it over a little bit and try and get it right in the middle that's pretty good right there could be a little closer down on California but I don't think we're going to get it I don't think we're going to get it any better that. Okay, and then hit scale on the on the um, in the box there. Okay, and you'll see that you've got that. Now, that's pretty much um, what I want to do on on in this lesson. That reminds me of everything I need to do. So anyway, that's it, guys. So thanks for being with me. And um, oh, and if you want to save it. You can go up here to export as, and this will put it in a PNG if you want, or just whatever kind of file you want. Here you can see, um, this is admin docs, but I like to have all my stuff on my D drive in my documents, and I have an old Toby's file down here somewhere. And that's where I would put it in here. So then just hit export and it takes and puts it right in there and uh, you can do that or if you want to you can just save it within your GIMP files you just click click on save as and it gives you the uh, option of where you want to put it and again I would just go back into my D documents and old Toby and so forth and so forth and that's it so I um, hope that works for you guys it definitely works for me I'll see you later